Okay, as we move along here, this is our second pen of Fallborn Red Angus Bulls. These bulls, uh, you can see it's a pretty cold morning here in Alberta. They're blowing a lot of, uh, a lot of their breath, and, and they've run uh, about an eighth of a mile uh, from the back end of the bull lot to get here. So we'll move these bulls around and let you have a good look. These are a little bit older sort. Uh, most of these bulls born the last week in August, the first week in September. Again, they're much like the last pen we looked at. Just incredibly thick, beefy bulls with uh, you know a tremendous amount of pay weight for their age. These bulls come off very light birth weights. Um, they all come from our complete grass calving fall cow herd where we only check them once a day. So these cattle have learned over generations to look after themselves and not give you any management nightmares, that's for sure. We've always used bulls uh, as seed stock herd sires. Uh, most of the bulls we use now are produced right here on our own ranch. And uh, so we're really comfortable and confident in the birth weight and the convenience that those cattle offer. You know, it, it's very difficult to get this much thickness and pay weight starting from a very low birth weight. But over 40 years, we've incorporated and uh, driven the genetics into our cow herd to do just that. We're going to take a still shot here of some of these great big beefy bulls. You know, these bulls have a lot of uses. I mean, these bulls can go out and they're big enough to breed uh, almost the biggest of the cows in their first season, not like a yearling bull. Um, they'll add to pay weight, they'll add to performance. If you've got a lot of exotic in your cows, you want to get them back to half Angus. You know, our red Angus genetics are nearly the perfect way to do that because they offer so much beefiness and thickness. You're looking to make them a little more moderate, a little more middle of the road. Uh, these bulls are just exactly what you need. So as we walk these bulls around. We're going to look at uh, just two pens of these fallborn bulls this year, and then a couple of pens of, of summer two-year-old bulls. So these bulls are grass calved in August and September. Uh, we only check them once a day, so they have always learned uh, to do everything on their own. Walk these cattle past you maybe one more time and, uh, and then we're going to go out and next we'll look at some summer two-year-olds.